So let's uh, continue along on this walk here and see what else we can find here in Interlochen for you. So we just kind of stretch our legs and work up a bit of an appetite for dinner tonight. There they go landing. That was pretty close to us. Hey, good job. I'll stick the landing if I do it right. <laughs> Everybody, we are in Interlaken here in Switzerland. Um, we just arrived this early afternoon, and checked into our Airbnb. It's about what three o'clock? It's about three o'clock. And so we're going to head into town and walk around and do a little tour of Interlock and show you what it's all about. For those of you who don't know anything about Interlock and uh, Interlock and obviously it means between two lakes. So you see on the map here, um, there's two lakes and the town sits right in between. I think it's Lake Toon and Lake something else, I can't remember. Um, so the two lakes there, and it's right up on the mountains. Like, right up on the mountains. And so you can do some awesome mountain excursions. Right here, you can see the mountains. Right off in the distance. And actually have the our uh, Airbnb host said that they have the uh, highest railroad stop in the country right up here so that's also a possibility of things you can do uh, and then it's most known for its uh, adventure sports so paragliding they have skydiving, canoeing, kayaking, whitewater rafting. Uh, what else they have? All sorts, of, anything adventure, canyoneering, bungee jumping, all that stuff. It's kind of like a outdoor adventure mecca. All sorts of stuff like that here. So maybe we'll get into some of that at a later time. So just in today's video, I'm just going to walk around the downtown city and give you our thoughts, show you what it's a little bit about, and we'll just share our thoughts show you what it's all about and see some of the sights and then we'll probably uh, get a meal for dinner and hang it up for the night We've got a nice room and we have a view straight out to the mountains just like those you can see the white mountains the snow-capped mountains right in between there we can see right out of our window maybe I'll show you later great Airbnb so um, also near here, you have two great towns you can visit that are well-traveled. You have uh, Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen, which we'll also probably get. We're going to be here for a total of three nights, so we got a lot uh, to get into. So let's go ahead and get into town here.
here we are in the middle of this uh, park here in uh, Interlaken. And you can see in the middle of Interlaken they have this huge open green space. And besides this couple here that are making out, uh, it's mainly used for uh, the paragliders to come in and land. So here's one landing right now. So they leave this right here in the middle of the city. They don't build anything here. And then all the paragliding companies, let's see if we can catch them coming down here, can all land in here. Here he's coming down. And it's obviously very good advertising for the paragliding when you're kind of right here in the downtown area. There we go. And then, boom, here's downtown. All the stuff going on. We got carriage rides. We got a nice hotel. We got restaurants. And then we got, boom, paraglider. Paraglider, paraglider all coming in for their landings here. A big, huge open space. This is probably at least three football fields wide and at least too long. Big open space here. Here comes another one. So here they're coming in. And every company can use this as far as I know. You probably just have to pay to use the space. There, I was stuck that landing. Yeah, that guy came in, the first guy came in hard. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's gonna hurt your knees. Oh, is that a little kid? Stand up. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a small person. It did say on, uh, when I was looking online at the paragliding, they said you did need to be at least four years old to go. He looks like he's <laughs> So, who knows, maybe I'll end up doing that. Or maybe Rebecca. We'll see. I don't think your mom would go for that. <laughs> well, the good thing is that she won't see this until we're back, so. So we might as well just go. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll be your cheering. Person. You'll be you'll be the cheering squad. So how if you if you do go, how would I know which one you are? Uh, I could probably describe my parachute beforehand, maybe. I don't think you can take your phone. Yeah, I'm allowed to take my phone. It's not allowed to have it out. Oh, okay. I think they said there's a pocket in your bag that you have. So you'd be like, I have the red and white. Yeah, something like that. I, I, you, you just have to guess. That's all I could tell you. I would want to video you coming down. Yeah. Wow, and just, they just keep coming. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. So, it's like all day. Uh, when I was looking at the uh, paragliding online, it costs anywhere from a 170 Swiss franc, uh, 180 if you want to do a little bit extended, and then some of them were like 200, 230, just depended which company and which ones you're doing. Some of them kind of go a little bit higher up at the start, uh, so a little lower. Uh, and also, the length of your trip depends on the wind. So if it's very windy, I think you might end up stuck up there. If it's less windy, you, they don't have any control, but they, you come down, I guess. But they give you an estimate on about how long those rides are. Okay, so let's... Uh, continue along on this walk here and see what else we can find here in Interlaken for you. So we just kind of stretch our legs and work up a bit of an appetite for dinner tonight. There we go, landing. That was pretty close to us. Hey, good job. I'll stick the landing if I do it right.
here we are and this whole complex kind of right up here is Schloss Interlaken so it's like a bunch of different parts they've all connected slowly probably over the years so let's go get a closer look at this like there's a church part here and there's another church over here wow it's a beautiful city look at that the mountains in the back there crazy Sloss in a locket. So you got some information on this. And that's all. Huh. Okay. Let's head uh, back in towards town. And see what else we can get ourselves into. So we just got back. Uh, so we just left dinner. Uh, somebody wasn't feeling super good. So today we made a special day. We did something we don't normally do out uh, on the road like this. Normally we always try to eat local. And today somebody, because she was not feeling as well, we thought let's have something special. Let's have your favorite food. And, Rebecca's favorite food is Thai. So we got some Pad Thai at this little place here. Uh, I think it was just called Little Thai or something like that. And it was amazing. We came in there like basically right as they opened and we had food on the table in three minutes maybe. Oh yeah, it was insane. It was so quick. So it was very good. So it's one of the rare times we're going to do that. So don't hate on me too much. Uh, We're going to be in Switzerland for another like 10 days. So. Yes. There are plenty more Swiss food to be had. And we had Swiss food yesterday and I think when we were in Austria, but Bavarian food, I guess, in Austria. So we'll be getting plenty more of that. Uh, so now we're just going to head back into town. Yeah, it's just cool to watch like it's like... Every half hour, there's just like a load of paragliders just jumping off of the mountains here. Uh, it's just beautiful to walk around. Now, what um, Interlaken does have is the mountains. So, um, compared to... Oh, look, there's a... Uh, hang glider there. There's one hang glider. I think the, the hang gliding is available. Most of them do hang gliding too, but it seems like it's like $50 more expensive and I think it's about the same price. Ooh, there's a second hang glider in there too. So it's just like $50 more expensive. It lasts about the same amount of time and so I don't understand what the difference on the ride would be really plus there's that video going around where that guy didn't get tied in and had to hang on for like 10 minutes so maybe that scares people off <laughs> um, so what the city of Interlaken uh, has is the, these amazing mountains there aren't many cities even in Switzerland that have mountains and water and everything so readily available right in town or right close to town what it does lack is like the old style buildings and that european charm that you get in a lucerne or other swiss cities or in austrian cities and german cities you 
doesn't quite have that. Some of the buildings do, but not as much. So if you're looking for that, you're gonna kind of miss out on that type of stuff. But you do get all this outdoor adventure stuff. So if you're an outdoorsy person, you like hiking, you like mountains, you like riding on the water, whatever, this is your place. And I think no matter what, if you're coming to Switzerland, you gotta come here. It's, it's an experience. The first time I came here, I did not. First time I came to Switzerland, I did not come to Interlaken, and that was a mistake. I stayed to the cities, and came the second time I came to Switzerland, went to Interlaken, and I was like, oh, I have to come back here. And this is a place I could continue to come back to. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, so, we're gonna just head back to our Airbnb, trying to get some things scheduled um for the next couple of days that we're here uh which is kind of nice because we've been so go 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 for the first 10 days of this trip uh the next 10 days are real slower so we got three days here one day in a spot and then three days in a spot and then so we're going to be uh more settled in these places than before where it was just one night or two nights so um let's go ahead and head back to our baby. Okay, so that's going to do it for our walk around visit here in Interlaken in our first impressions or first impressions of my second time here and her first impressions. Um, so our impressions are it's a great city, got to come here. Very walkable. Very walkable, uh, very touristy, uh, but it can be a good thing because English is very widely spoken, not that it isn't in other places, but uh, definitely ease of travel for everybody is a priority here. Lots of, the thing I did notice is there's a lot of different um, varieties of food here. They had like Indian food, Lebanese food, Vietnamese, Cantonese, Thai, uh, uh, Libyan food. I saw Libyan food. Along with, you know, Swiss and an Irish pub and all sorts of different things. So they have it all because a lot of people come here. Big tourist destination. So we're going to go ahead and get in for the night. And we'll get make our plans for tomorrow. We've got some exciting things coming up here. So make sure you stick with us. So if you like the video, hit the like button now. Comment. If you have any comments or questions. Things we need to go see and do here next time we come. Advice. Anything like that. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And so you can watch all the rest of our videos. Because we're going to keep them coming. we got about 100 our first year. Of doing this plan to do another 100 this year at least so we got plenty more coming from this side of the pond the other side of the pond any side of the pond I don't care we're going there and we're making videos so until then see you in the next one